Hey Stampers, Dana again. Uh, I know it's Mother's Day this weekend, but Father's Day is fast approaching as well. And I have done a couple, but I just thought I'd make this. How sweet is this? I had my designer washi tape with uh, for the Urban Underground, and they got three. And I, they sent me two lots for some reason. Um, so I thought, use some up. <laughs> So I use the little straight one for there and this one here and obviously I've used my uh, nailed it stamp set. I've also gone ahead and punched stars with a confetti punch because you've got quite a lot, you've got three large ones in each one and this is what I've used on here uh, and down here and this is the star confetti punch and I used white glimmer paint. Dazzling Diamonds Glimmer Paper, the Silver Glimmer Paper and the Silver Foils sheets to cut out them. And I've got loads here of different size ones. So you've got some, still got some biggish ones. But I've also got the Urban Underground embellishments. But I didn't use any of those. But I'm using, oh and the inside of the card is lovely. I've used the washi tape in there as well. It says, um, Happy Father's Day. Thank you. Uh, thanks to you, I grew up loved. And then I also put the washi tape inside to decorate. I think it looks really sweet. And I rounded the corners off on the top. I used the... I used the Happy Father's Day from the Nailed It set. I used the... Uh, thanks to you, I grew up loved. And the paint and palette I used for the dots. And they're the only three stamps we're going to use today. Um, so I'm going to pop these to one side because I need them later. We're going to be using the Baker's Twine as well. The washi tape. The corner punch. And I'm using basic grey card with smoky slate uh, on the layer. And I'm using the designer series paper from the Urban Underground as well. And Whisper White for the inside and scraps. So let's crack on. This is a 55 by 55 card. Um, because these are probably what I'm going to send to my father-in-law. Um, sadly, my father passed away many moons ago, so I can't send him one. So your card you're going to need is 11 by 5.5, scored at 5.5. And, and I'm going to pop that to one side. I'm not even going to attach anything yet, because even on the inside... I'm going to be doing some washi tape and stamping, so, oh, there's a little mark on my cuff, I'll turn that over, so I'm going to pop that to one side a moment, straighten all my uh, edges off where I've trimmed, it's so simple, they look like they're raised sometimes, so you just go over with your bone folder and it flattens them back out. So I'm going to pop my white to one side as well. Oh, by the way, this piece of glimmer paper, um, the grey is five and a quarter by five and a quarter. The whisper white is um, oh, I lost it. I wrote it down. This is oh, this is five and a quarter by five and a quarter. Oh, yeah, it's the same size. It's because this is for the outside and this is for the inside. So the two pieces are both five and a quarter by five and a quarter. This is then two inches by five and a quarter because I'm going to attach this right to the bottom of my card, which I'm going to do now. This, you only get one sheet of each. There's this one and there's another design because the... They've got foil in them, but uh, well worth having. Absolutely amazing. So I'm going to line this up. Perfect. You sand it up. They both sit on the ground perfectly. And that's that done. And while we're here, I'm going to cut my corners out. Why does that do that to me? 
Is it not in properly? Oh, I'll sort that out later. I did it perfect earlier. <laughs> Typical. Okay, these boo boos are off. I'll trim that down. Right, what am I going to do next? Oh, I'm going to add my little grey washi tape. And we're doing all this beforehand because it needs to be tucked around the card. And I love the way it's patchy. It's not perfect. You know, like some. Just tear it off. And if you don't get it straight, it peels right back off for you to adjust. And then this one is going to go about, actually, yeah, about, I'd say, just over half an inch. But it's just uh, so it breaks up the DSP, the washi tape, and where the baker's twine is going to go. Again, that looks straight to me. Oh, I'm getting good at this. Now, the baker's twine, I think this is quite thick. I wrap that around five times. I'm going to do that now. And we'll orientate it once we've done it. Three, sorry, four, I think that's five, let me count, one, two, three, four, one more, five, and I'm going to chop this off at the same level, and this one doesn't tend to move, it's great, and so I'm going to pop those two together, just get a bit of scotch tape, we Brits call it cello tape, mm. and I'm just gonna hold that down on the back. Also, this is gonna get adhered to the card later, so you're not gonna see it. So now we can maneuver our baker's twine. It's just the clear white baker's twine. You could add the black and white striped one, the grey one. Entirely up to you. I just thought. We've got plenty of grey on here. So now what else I did? I got two lengths. About, about that long. They're probably too long, but I want the two together. I soon have too much, they're not enough. So I'm going to put these together. I know they're a bit too long, but I'm going to level them off. I'm going to thread these under here and I'm just going to tie a knot, double knot once and twice. I know it's not going to come undone there and then I'm going to make a double bow because double the string. The other one was really short, see, so. And making sure make sure your bits are at the same level <laughs> so just pull the two so you've got the book you can open these up if you want to after and then we're going to trim down I think you see I'm going to pass that under there See if that helps. That's better. I'm going to trim this down now. No two cards are ever the same, but uh, that looks pretty lush to me. How cute. Men don't mind a bow, I suppose. As long as it hasn't got cherry on top. <laughs> oh, I'm just having a swig of my coffee. It's lovely. Right. I am going to fetch in. This is the smoky slate. I'm going to do full strength and then two lots of not so full. And we're using the dots from the playful palette. So I'm just going to dab. Just 
than I think it looks. Okay. Come off here. I'm gonna stamp a few on there and then just go over. How cute is that? And there's our lovely little bone, I can say it. I pop that to one side for a moment. So I'm gonna fetch in a piece of scrap wisp white. Um don't need that much. I'm gonna trim it down. And also a scrap piece of the basic gray. That's all you need for this. And I'm gonna fetch in my happy Father's Day. And I'm gonna I have got um a die to cut this one out, but I'm gonna fussy cut because it's quick quicker than getting out the big shot. <laughs> Can you tell? It looks like a vase. And uh, I'm also going to cussy, cussy foot, fussy cut the grey out to the match, but give it border. So I'm going to leave that. I'll stamp the inside in a moment because uh, I want to make sure that's level. So I'll do this first. So I'm just going to quickly cussy foot. No, fussy good. <laughs> I did that on purpose that time. I'm only going to leave a small white border. But some people have the stamps that are not the framelets or the dies as the uh so we can show you both ways how you can achieve this look. And that was quicker than pulling out the big shot. So now I'm gonna attach Do my grey leaving a small border. In fact I'm gonna lift it up because I want to make sure it's level so again do the same again but leaving a small border only about well as big or as small as you want. I just wanted it because there is a lot of grey but I wanted it to stand out. And I'm going to pop these on dimensionals. I'm not the straightest cutter in the world, but uh, I thought this card was adorable. And there's our shape. Get rid of these bits. Oh. Little trash can down there. I am going to fetch in my dimensionals. I'm going to have three. <coughs> Let's this back in there. And this is just going in between the washi and the top. Straight. Yeah. How cool is that? It's getting there, it's getting there. I will sort that out. Um, now my stars. What I did, I fetched my my bathroom tweezers down. And I'm sorry about this, but I've got to get my other glasses on. <laughs> oh, two pairs of glasses. I can see better now. <laughs> uh, my silicone map. And my tumble clip. Oh, you can probably see where I used it earlier, but that'll come straight up with a wipe. You only need the tiniest little dot. That's it. You can add loads with that. And grab my tweezers. And I'm going to dab the star and then mush it. And you can add as many or as little as you want. God blimey, there goes my bin lid. It's windy as hell. Uh, I think I've got one here, but I've used the glimmer paper, the white and the silver. I've also um, used the foil. And it's up to you, like I say, 
You can put on as many or as little as you want. Just gives it a little bit of shebang, as you say. That's our wonderful friend, she would say. Voila! My friend. Oh, I think she's cool. Love it a bit. She makes fabulous videos. She inspires me sometimes. Another one of the silver. I've got three left. Look, you just need a tiny dot. And more fingers and thumbs anyway. I'm going to pop one on my washi tape. If it wants to stick down. Okay. And a lovely little bow. Uh, I have a white one down here as well, I think. How about one there? I don't think it needs much more than that. Maybe one more. I'll just have another little dot. In fact, I'll add that. And another glitter one. Well, there. <gasps> that wind is blowing around like mad. Yeah, it's been very mild all day here. Perfect. I've got one spare look. Save it for a rainy day. Oops, I do apologise. Um, pop that to one side, I'll clean that later. How sweet is that? That's just the cutest. And I'm going to fetch in. And I'm going to use the Tombow for this as well, because it helps to keep it down. But everything's nice and neatly in the back. My, uh... So the tape is holding my uh, baker's twine down. I'm even going to squash them in there. So that's not coming away from the card. And make sure the card opens up. You could have it that way if you wanted. No, I like this way. Nice little border all the way around. That a couple of seconds. See that's sturdy as hell that is. Just spread these out if you want to. Before it sets. Oh, how darn cute is that? Oh that's lovely. Oh, let me get my uh I know it's gonna be covered over but oh it's not not even glue. <laughs> so we're going to pop that to one side, fetch in our whisper white now. Back in with our washi tape. I'm going to do this then and turn it round because uh, I don't want to get my head in the camera. around the corner. I love this stuff. It's nice, nice little border and it's uh, nice and straight by the looks of it. You probably see it out of a line, I don't. <laughs> and then another piece next to it. Again, about the same distance. We all like to decorate the inside of our cards as well. And I just thought this would make this would make a different uh, exception, seeing as it's the male card as well. So back in with our grey. And we're nearly done. <clears throat> I will put all the dimensions on my blog if you want to follow that. The shop now button's also there. And the join now button. 
There's some fantastic offers on if you want to join, join Celebration. And, and I would love to be your upline. So, I'm only going to eyeball this, but uh, it is pretty straight on my stamp. Oh, that's lovely. Thanks to you, I grew up love. Oh, you could even add another little star if you wanted. But I think that's just so cool. How cute is that? And it's lined up lovely. Again. I'm going to be making another one after this. So there should be two on tomorrow. As usual. And a nice little board all the way around again. I didn't feel the need to round the corners off on the inside. I think it was just enough outside. Oh, how darn cute is that? Oh, I love it. I love it. Perfect. So that's the one we've just done. This is the one I made earlier with a few extra stars, but I think that's plenty. Oh, it's beautiful. I, I really love it. Oh, my God. So if you want to give me a lovely little thumbs up and a share, don't forget to subscribe as well, and you'll be notified every time I make a video, which is, tends to be either every day or every other day. So you'll never be bored. Look at the bow on this. It's tiny. But uh, that's entirely... You use any ribbon, whatever goes. Or you could use the silver that come with the celebration items as well, but... Uh, this stamp set and the paper um, can all be found in the occasion spring summer catalogue um, and online. So if you want to go and have a look at those, I'd be more than welcome if you live in the UK to send catalogues out to you as well. But there we have it. There's our two Father's Day cut. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.